Tell you, folks, I'm shocked. You know, all year, dog wasn't into it. He is crushed. He is. I can't even beat on him. He's so down. It's. I mean, he. I could tell Saturday night he called me. He was crushed yesterday. I wanted to have a little phone with him on the air. He was at the park with his kids. No phone. And I'm sure he watched very little sports. If I know Dog, he had a tough day watching sports yesterday. And he is crushed. Dog, I'm surprised. I did not think you were worse this year than you were last year. Yeah, I'm very upset. I'm hurt by this. This one, this one bothered me. Bothered me. But again, we'll worry about the Giants later. All no, right. but they're part of the mix. We just did the open there. You know, we were looking for that Yankee Giant, and that's where we'll start. No <laughs> Giants. <laughs> what else is new? Still Yankees. Ah, uh, terrible job. I, 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 Take the, listen, we know everyone's already got a fill of what the Yankees did, and we'll get to that all afternoon. Give me your first thoughts on the Giants. On that series, on those last two games, which were tremendously exciting baseball games. I'm if you're impartial, they were great to watch. I mean, not, they were fun. They were. I don't know what to tell you, Mike. I mean, here it is all year long. I had a tough day getting into it all year. I got a tough time. I could not get into it all year. I, whatever the case, I just had a lot of trouble with it. And all of a sudden, I get into it the last four or five days. I was into the fact they didn't go to New York. And they reel me in. Then I get destroyed again. And what's the what's the point? I can win 3,000 games in a regular season. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I said it on Saturdays. I knew they were going to lose Saturday. The San Francisco Giants, outside of Game 3 in L.A. in 62, and outside of last year, Game 5 in Atlanta, which may have been more about the Braves than the Giants, the San Francisco Giants never, ever win a big game. And that's, that's all I can tell you. They, they have no guts. They, they, they always, they're as bad as the Red Sox, always something goes wrong. I mean, whether it's chopping fly balls, getting thrown out at third base and an asinine base running play, uh, you know, walking, whatever it might be, getting thrown out the plate. First time in Major League history, a postseason series ends with a guy getting thrown out the plate, and it's the San Francisco Giant that gets thrown out the plate. In a remarkable play. And After he knocks the ball out to... to Put the team ahead. His performance, for a second, if you're, you're a baseball about. fan. You know, my comment last night on the TV show was that, you know, everyone expected a great player to dominate the he, Giant series. One did, but it wasn't Bonds. It, it, was, it was Pudge Rodriguez who was played maybe the greatest division series I ever saw one man play. He, do he was in on every play. Killed the he Giants. dominated the game. Picking guys off, backhanded balls, throwing guys out, stealing third, plays at the plate. Plays at the plate the other way, hits, home runs. I mean, a guy was unbelievable. Killed the Giants. Uh, what can I tell you? He absolutely killed the Giants. A uh, uh, couple things I'd say. Ba Valentine does, does know his ass from his elbow. If he thinks the Giants, uh, you know, I heard him on, over the weekend. He didn't even know that Galarraga, by the way, had been used in the game because he's he all over the look. Hey, I don't I care got about apologizing. I got watch him for that, too. Watch he, the game properly. Right. Watch I, the game properly. He's sitting there, uh, his job is to watch the I game. Got on him. Watch the game properly. I didn't realize he had apologized. There was no other game on it. Watch the game. Game. I mean, you don't he kill the manager. Watching. I mean, come on. He must have been watching the Yankees. Jeez, watch the game right. Galarag was in the game already. You can't kill a loop when not having a pinch runner. My God. Pinch and, you know, the idea that the Marlins are a better team than the Giants. The Giants made seven errors in this series. They left 40 guys on base. I mean, gee, they're not better than the Giants. I mean, listen, they played well in this series, and they deserved to win. I'm not saying that. Uh, Lou doesn't drop that fly ball on Friday night. The Giants win this series. They probably might even win them four games. Cruz. Cruz, I say, Lou. Yeah. Cruz. I mean, uh, the Giants. No, wait, but, this idea that the Marlins are better than the Giants, I don't buy that at all. And I love I, Bobby V, but he's totally wrong. He said that all weekend. Well, why are you surprised? He hates Lou because Lou hates him. Well, he does hate Lou. So he wants to knock the Giants. The Giants are as good as the Marlins. Come on, stop. He, he does hate Lou. There's no, no question about it. And, you know, I think... And we'll get to the Yankees. In and a you second. don't get an apology on that yeah. when he when his job is to watch the games. That's, that's all he's getting paid to do: watch two games and analyze it. Right? You can't go on here and kill the manager. No pinch runner, and then a oh, by the way, I made a mistake. Mike, it's his job to watch the games. Yeah, he, listen, I killed him on it. I didn't know he had apologized. I killed him on it yesterday morning, and I didn't realize he. Malouz told me that he had come back and said, "Hey, I blew it. I screwed up. My mistake." I had played. I mean, geez, he got yeah, the no the sixth inning. And I was watching both games. And I I watched him afterwards, and I and I. Could not believe you. I was saying, Bob, what are you saying? I watched the game. and how anybody to put on a pinch run for him. But, you know, the bottom line there, dog, is that, you know, everyone now has decided. And I don't want to hear it. This is garbage. I don't want to see a bunch of stories today about how Filippo Lou blew it 
by taking too many pitches. Write that before the series starts. Don't write it now. I agree with that. Okay, not one person wrote it before the series right. started. And, for the and number two, pounded. number two, I don't know about the communication stuff with Schmidt. I don't know that he didn't talk to his team all year, which is what guys said yeah. after the game. People were getting on pretty good. He never even talked to his team. I don't know. They won 100 games. They, they did something right. They won 100 games, okay? And now you don't like them. People said overachieved. Now all of a sudden he didn't manage. So, that, so that's a bunch of garbage. And the bottom line is this. Let's cut to the chase. If Cruz catches the ball, they play at worst game five, and Schmidt shuts him out in game five. So the bottom line is they, if Cruz catches the ball, okay, they win the series. So I don't want to hear about 12 pitches. I don't want to hear about anything else. Uh, this, 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 David, Mike, I can't tell you, and you're 100% right. Uh, this one really bothered me. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised. I wasn't that into well, it all he, year. You worse than last year. And, uh, well, last year, at least they played a game seven. They played the last day of the season. Uh, they gave me a nice ride. Uh, fair enough. I have terrible game. Game six, a disaster. But the Giants are never going to win a World Series. And now listen, this is not about him, but it's obvious they're not going to win a championship in the Bonds era. I mean, that's all there is to it. And let me give He's the Marlins. Ted Williams. He's Ted Williams. He's now, not going to win one. Now listen, in the late innings, and give the Marlins credit. They walked them. But let me say this. They went after him. I. It made my heart happy. They went after to him. To see Dontrell Willis Especially pitch to inning. him with the second and third and first base open. Good for him. And he pitched to him. And yeah. he hit a sack fly, but at least he pitched to him. Wasn't Thank afraid. God it was nice to see somebody pitch to him. I, good point, Mike. Good, uh, get, listen, McKean, who's a, who's a bad game manager, but, you know, you can't knock him they down. They after Bonds, but they anybody him. has in years. Absolutely right. Uh, and they walked him. Listen, they didn't let him beat him with a homer late in the game in tie spots. I agree with that. That's fine. But, boy, i tell you something. They went after him a lot of times in this series and got away with it. Now, he hit about three balls to the track. No. Okay. Two for nine, eight walks. Hey, the bar, That's they, not good enough. They him. did a good job, and they're a fun team. They really are, and they're a gutty team. But and that was a terrific four games. I knew the they last were, two they, games were just tremendous. Mike, you knew I knew that was going to be after they lost game two. I knew the Giants. But think about this for a second. If you're a Giant fan, just put yourself in my shoes. The Florida Marlins have been in existence for ten years. They have done nothing. They had one great year in '97, and now they're having this magical run again. And both times at the expense of the Giants. Think about that for a second. Yep. I have been around for fifty years. Not a thing. Twice this team out of nowhere has knocked us off twice. I'll give you one other stat. You know, Giants have played four postseason games in Joe Robbie Stadium in the last six years. And you know, they have lost every game in the last at bat. Yep. Every freaking game in that stupid ballpark they've lost in the last time. I got Ernie Kishonis calling me up and going crazy. Marlin this, Marlin that. Marlin fans are nowhere to be found. And now I can't win a game in that park in front of 65,000 people. I'll tell you, Saturday I was so upset. And I thought I was beyond it. I thought it wouldn't bother me. Saturday I was mad at Rodriguez. I was mad at JT. So I wasn't mad at JT, but I was mad at Rodriguez. Uh, I was uh, Jerome Williams. I mad at everybody. I cannot believe. And then I got the Yankees walking through the park in Minnesota pounding the twinks. Mariano pitching great. Clemens and Wells who I hate going out there being great. And now I got to deal with the Yankees winning another world championship probably beating the Red Sox and Cubs along the way and I'm out in the first round. I mean why waste my time? Every single freaking year, I get myself juiced up with this stupid team and at 43 years of age and three kids, enough already. Let them go hurt somebody else. I mean, how many, when am I ever going to have a chance to win a lousy freaking champion? One time! Not 20, one lousy time! <laughs> Gee whiz! Every single, beep that GD. Every single time! Ah, oh, come on, will you please? Can you beat the Florida ball at one time? Four straight losses in that ballpark. Not to mention Bush Stadium in 87. Not to mention 93-12-1. Last year, they spit it up. Every single time. The game in Ridley Field, nobody beats the Cubs. We can't beat them in 98. Nobody beats them. We stink. The Mets, the lousy Mets did it to us. Gosh, every time. I never win. Every year I'm sitting there, and I've been there October 26th, and they're being dusty to annoy me. I've been there October 26th, and the Yankees be parading down the Canyon of Hills with their 27th championship, and I'm out again. Every, I don't care how many books I write, how many kids I have, how many Marconis, I don't care. Mike can put me on that show forever. I don't care. Win one. I'll give it all back. I'll leave now. One 
that's all I want is one. Oh no! I'll leave. I swear I'll leave. I'll quit. Must have get me happy. I'll leave one time. Once. I'll get out of here forever. You'll never see me again. Let me win once. Once. I'm getting out 43 years of age. I'm not getting any younger. I'm not as old as Mike, but I'm not getting any younger. Okay, out of my system. Now we're going to trade them all our players. We can get rid of them that easy. I'm gonna send them the, we're going to send them five or six bombers next year. We're going to send them Jeter, Bernie, and about four other Give guys. Give Mike credit, though. And Rivera. Give Mike credit because I caught him Saturday. He knew I was dying. And he let me vent. Today, he knew I was dying. He laid low. I give you credit. Well, all right. We'll come back. And Yankee fans, let me tell you, you just got your pound of flesh <laughs> back after this.